What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? Woo! It's Saturday. Saturday. I'll be home today. So exciting. All right. So we got a 1983 Cadillac Fleetwood. Uh, looks like a Ross car, right? It totally looks like a Ross car. Uh, but it's not a Ross car. Found it on the load board. Uh, just kind of like a space filler. 370. Uh, $375 bill, it's not a huge money, but I'm trying to get home. I wanna be home tonight. I got a lot of stuff still to do. Even though my trip is ending, I have a lot of other stuff to do. So uh, so that's that car. And then I'm actually here in Vacaville at, uh, at the Dodge dealership, Ram dealership. And we're gonna go pick up a brand new Ram 1500 that's also gonna go south with me. So let's go pick up that truck. Everybody says, oh Natalie, the fenders, why would you ever get a trailer like this with the fenders? Oh, don't the fenders cause you so much headache? So don't you have such a hard time to get vehicles and freight and all kinds of stuff in between them? Why did you buy that trailer? Da, 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 da. This deck is 28 inches off of the ground. For me being five feet, I love it. The new trailer that I bought, you guys saw that, that I got from Nationwide, it's a whopping 10 inches taller than this trailer. And those 10 inches make a huge difference. So you guys saw me load this cool truck. Let me back up a little bit. Lexi and I are preparing this morning to go deliver them. I got to spend one day at home yesterday. Um, this morning we're gonna go deliver these two cars. As you can see, this is a Ram. 1500 TRX it's probably some type of competition for the Raptor uh, I did not realize it was going to be <laughs> a Raptor uh, type truck when I got to it I just figured it was a nice paying truck because it was new and it was a truck so not really uh, the tires on this truck uh, are very wide tires and then the you know everything is wide on this truck so I had to drive up over the fender you guys saw that as I loaded it I drove up the fender on the driver's side 
and came down. The only thing I had to do that I was upset about was I had to offload the Cadillac and put it at the rear of the trailer and put this truck at the front. So things are a problem when you make them a problem. You know, things are an obstacle when you make them an obstacle. When you think, when I try to think with an open mind and when I try to uh, find a solution for things, uh, tends to be I'm, I'm not as nervous about the task at hand when I look, when I change my perspective on things. So no, my trailer uh, doesn't cause me any issues <laughs> because that's the that's the frame of mind that I choose to stay in with using this trailer and with purchasing this trailer and purchasing a second trailer pretty much just like it with the fenders um, I like them both sometimes they do create a little bit more work for me but I've never been refused a load I've never had any issues with um, getting loaded or getting unloaded uh, sometimes I have to get creative and I've shared that with you guys so Lexi and I are gonna go we're going to go deliver these two vehicles I'm gonna show you this truck unload shortly <laughs> 